Welcome back to our channel, and thank you for joining us today. In this video, we'll be discussing 7 important nighttime signs that diabetics should be aware of. Diabetes doesn't take a break, even when the night falls, and recognizing these signs is crucial for managing your condition and ensuring a good night's sleep. So, let's dive right in. But first subscribe our channel for more health-related content. Our first sign is called, Nocturia. Nocturia is a term that might not be commonly known, but its effects can be quite disruptive, especially for those with diabetes. It signifies an increased frequency of urination during the night, often caused by elevated blood sugar levels in diabetics. Consistently waking up during the night to visit the restroom not only disrupts your sleep cycle but also serves as a significant indicator that your blood sugar might not be within the optimal range. To manage this nighttime sign effectively, consider regulating and consistently monitoring your blood sugar levels. Also, be mindful of your fluid intake in the evening. If the issue persists, don't hesitate to consult with a healthcare professional, as other factors might be contributing to nocturia. Our second sign is, night sweats. Night sweats often manifest as excessive sweating during sleep, even in a cool room. For diabetics, these intense sweats can serve as an alarm bell for nocturnal hypoglycemia, or low nighttime blood sugar levels. To manage night sweats effectively, monitor your blood sugar levels consistently, especially in the evening. Identify and adjust potential triggers. Under the guidance of a healthcare professional, consider revisiting medication dosages as a precaution. Having a readily accessible glucose source, like glucose tablets or juice by your bedside, can be life-saving during nocturnal glucose dips. Moving on to our third sign, Restless Leg Syndrome, RLS. RLS is a neurological condition characterized by an uncontrollable urge to move the legs, often accompanied by tingling, itching, or a crawling sensation. This discomfort can escalate during periods of inactivity, making it particularly troublesome at night. Managing RLS in the context of diabetes involves a multifaceted approach. Firstly, maintaining optimal blood sugar levels can potentially reduce the onset of neuropathy and, by extension, RLS. Additionally, certain lifestyle changes, like reducing caffeine and alcohol intake, can alleviate RLS symptoms. Regular moderate exercise can help, but overly strenuous activity might exacerbate the symptoms. For persistent cases, consult a healthcare provider for potential medication options. Our fourth sign is, sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is a sleep disorder characterized by pauses in breathing or shallow breaths during sleep, leading to frequent awakenings. It's particularly concerning for diabetics as disrupted sleep and reduced oxygen levels can contribute to insulin resistance and poor blood sugar control. Managing sleep apnea often involves a mix of lifestyle changes and medical interventions. Weight loss can be particularly effective, as even a small reduction in weight can alleviate symptoms. Effective management can lead to improved blood sugar levels and overall well-being. Our fifth sign is, nighttime hypoglycemia. This refers to low blood sugar levels that occur during sleep, and it's a critical concern for diabetics as it can go unnoticed, leading to potential complications. To manage nighttime hypoglycemia, regularly monitor your blood sugar, especially before bed. If levels are low, consume a carbohydrate-rich snack to prevent a nocturnal dip. Adjusting the timing or dosage of insulin or other diabetic medications under a doctor's guidance may also be necessary. It's advisable to have a fast-acting glucose source, such as glucose gel or tablets, within arm's reach of your bed. Educating friends or family about the signs of severe hypoglycemia and how to administer emergency glucose or glucagon injections can also be life-saving. Our sixth sign is, nighttime frequent thirst. This is a telltale sign for many diabetics, particularly when blood sugar levels are elevated. Effective management of this symptom is intertwined with overall diabetes control. Keeping blood sugar levels in check is paramount. Monitoring glucose levels and adjusting medication or insulin dosages accordingly under a healthcare provider supervision is essential. To mitigate nighttime disruptions, try to balance fluid intake throughout the day rather than consuming large amounts in the evening. Cutting down on caffeine and alcohol can also help, as both can act as diuretics, increasing urine output. Finally, our seventh sign is, nighttime cramps. These sudden, painful muscle contractions, predominantly in the legs, can be distressing for diabetics. 
To manage and reduce the occurrence of nighttime cramps, maintaining stable blood sugar levels is the foundational step. Regular monitoring and adhering to prescribed medication regimens can help keep glucose in check. In addition to this, gentle stretching exercises before bedtime, particularly for the calf muscles, can alleviate tension and reduce the risk of cramps. Hydration, balanced intake of minerals like magnesium and potassium, and wearing supportive footwear can also play a preventive role. If nighttime cramps persist or intensify, it's essential to consult a healthcare provider to explore underlying causes and receive appropriate treatment recommendations. Knowing these seven nighttime signs is your first line of defense in managing diabetes effectively. By identifying and addressing symptoms like frequent urination or low blood sugar, you're empowered to take immediate action, improving your sleep quality and overall diabetes management. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more informative content. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.